So in order to do meshing, I'm going to select the slabs. You have different thicknesses of the slab. So I'll select all your slabs. And now, so these are the all the slabs. I would like to check if uh, there are any differences from thickness. I have some slabs are have this fifteen uh, centimeter thickness, while Some's others thick. are thicker. I think these are thicker. So uh, we can apply the same mesh of uh, the finest one. Yes. So. Uh, I isolated all your slabs and now I'm going to the mesh setup and here I can create an size of 2D 0.5 so this mesh used in any 2D element here 5 the discrete element of four elements and uh, then I'm going to additional meshing for each so the uh, general meshing will be and now that I've selected uh, the mesh, sorry, uh, not mesh setup, but uh, the, same, uh, the, the, thic the thickness and here of slab. I will save zero point surface enforcement. and I will impose a smaller mesh for 15. Yes, and I will select all these slabs. Yes. Yes, we can choose. Yes, we will do this. if we want. Patient will take a yes. big yeah, the big refinement. They will correct and we will the, care to have a good balance between uh, calculation speed and two precise results. So I filtered all the meters uh, slabs for speed here. Uh, the yeah, the yeah, engineer. Uh, one, one by of thickness or two by of thickness one one you know what yes yes <laughs> yes no it, the recommendation i know it's for yes yes for the best results, if we see the model, then not uh, bigger the size of the mesh. From this, let's see how it behaves. Yes. First, we have some yellow this, uh, thing in order to have a good representation and not this extremely yellow material. I'll go to setting, uh, settings, I'll go to uh, my spaniels, and instead of rendered, I will select setting. OK. No, I won't see the yellow more. Then these slabs of select them and do a surface measuring. And this is how I, I meshed the slabs to mesh the wall. So I'm uh, reactivating the entire. Select all type for do a filter here. So these are the shear rows, and I'll do the same operation. So for each thickness, I'll create a meshing. So for the core here, which is zero eight eight. Okay. For meter walls, we'll say we we'll leave the standard. So the standard is uh, zero five. So we can uh, leave there one meter because actually the one meter is uh, bigger than the average. It won't do anything. This setting one meter will leave them for now. And for this zero three, I will refine it to zero three. And for zero, we leave them 
zero two. Okay, and I will read the general message. I will say one meter. And uh, what I need to do is meshing the plates, the slabs, and meshing the wall, mesh the intersection in them. And the meshing of the intersection have the smallest of meshing used in the model. So the point 15 will to the slabs. So I'll go again to local mesh refinements. Yeah. And I will go to uh refinement everywhere we reach between uh, the slab and we'll have an intersection of being equalist uh, uh, mesh level in the model. So I select that 0 0.15 and select the entire automatically all uh, the intersection. In this intersect, uh, uh, effort. Okay, the meshing is not the mesh before starting the analysis itself. So this is only a selection of the edge. Okay, I will say final mesh refinement. Notes that in uh, no. we don't have that particular situation. Usually, use uh, me so node we, mesh reinforcement. We can uh, use this one for the a slab the contact beam between column, uh, slab the column and cannot. the slab without using beams. I think you have this situation in no. your model. Do you think you have it? Okay, so we won't use that for now. Uh, the beam column is already intersect. If you have a concentrated, uh, uh, if you have a concentrated force around the node, you can do a mesh at, uh, node so that the forces that uh, pulls more finite elements around those nodes. We will leave them for now, and then uh, uh, the meshing is okay if forces are required. Hit the mesh, and we can here to mesh generation. We'll double click and uh, it will generate the mesh as the mesh together it holds correctly the network with infinite elements. So finish meshing and uh, activate the mesh so we we'll analyze it. Yes. Yeah. You can select uh, labs. Okay, this is not a real problem. Uh, so you can select the are all the slabs and look at the depth. And also you should take in consideration, but any yeah. so the deflection with the loads. See how you can group them because even the building is not very repetitive geometry and loads point of view. You stick some uh, slabs together. Decide which slab representative for a certain group and you have the particles so uh, one slab is not in a model for sure but uh, too much I would uh, isolate now some typical slabs just to see not only the slab but also with the wall select like this up uh, parts of the model to analyze how the meshed formation so this is just a group based on geometry the grouping should be done based on the load the grouping. Uh, you, you can show me how to uh, the, the group so of slab or uh, as the panels said. and deactivate it. Activate yeah. the panels to have less geometry. Now uh, show the mesh for the structure and draw mesh. I've seen uh, okay. sent you already for the last update. Yes, sure. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, but I will section in the if you can send it on the email, I have it on the other. Yes, that's fine. Right. Yes, you send me, but I have it again and I send it on email. Uh, some 
So now we're going to check a bit pretty good on the element. So it's okay to use the. However, around we need uh, refinements. Good. Basically, we can all network connects correctly. For instance, this node both to the network of the network. Well, as far as I see, this is a correct uh, mesh. And the way I check is by looking at you need to a good transformant of the slab uh, wall. So basically, the wall. And some larger elements of, but at the edges or tensions it has slab. In this area we can see it connected, see good. So it communicates and uh, every node edge of another. And this in this area also. So the we got here and it is required to have this sheet. Um, we need we now need to concentrate on the two D. Uh, yes, on the yeah. Thing. So uh, now, just, uh, okay, I have a model. I will deactivate the meshing. Yeah. Save the model and then run the work calculate. We'll do the grouping. Uh, the architecture because the architecture is for the load. So we'll do the grouping strategy and then we'll. Uh, Check the slabs represents. So, uh, 